Hello and welcome to this episode of Packet Tracer. In this episode, we want to talk about clustering a network topology. The purpose of clustering a network topology is to remove the clutter on your workspace and make more space and represent a cluster of devices inside one icon or inside one representation. So let's get started and see how it works. To make a cluster of the devices that you want them to be inside a cluster, make sure that you have highlighted those devices in the first place and then click on this icon create new cluster now all of those devices are hidden inside this cluster and this one cluster represents all of those devices let's name this cluster something meaningful my office network just like a device you can also move the cluster around using the select tool to uncluster the devices select the delete tool and then click on the cluster you will be given a prompt you will have two options either to uncluster the cluster of the devices or completely delete the cluster which will delete all of the devices inside the cluster and the cluster itself but for the time being we just want to uncluster now let's cluster those devices once again. Select them all together and create them as a cluster and name them something meaningful. My home network. Now I want to add an additional device here in the workspace. This is my office router. Now I want to connect my office router to my home network. To do that, let's go to the connections, choose auto cable and use the auto cable. As you can see, auto cable or auto connection is not applicable for clusters. So you can't really use auto connection. Now we have to create our connection manually. I want to use a copper straight through cable, click on my office router, select the interface, now click on the cluster, and now I'm represented with a list of all of the devices inside the cluster, and I can choose the device that I want to connect to. I want to connect to this multi-layer switch, fast ethernet zero slash six. Now my office router is connected to my home network, which is a cluster. Let's open this cluster and see if the connection has happened. As you can see, the connection has been established and here I am in the navigation level of my home network. I can change my navigation level again to the root level by going one level up. Now here I am in the root level and if I go back to this cluster, I am in the My Home Network Navigation level. By browsing inside the cluster, you will be able to see all of the components that are located inside the cluster. Now let's go back to the root level once again. I want to move my office router from the root level inside the cluster. And to do that, I would use this Move tool, click on my office router, and move it to home network. Now let's open this cluster. You can see that my office router is moved to my home network cluster. Now let's move it back to the root level once again. Move to root and let's navigate to root and you can see it's back here in the root level. And that's it for this episode, everyone. I hope this has been informative for you and I would like to see you in the next episode. Stay tuned.